Hello everyone. Welcome to week five of reentry and pathways to desistance. Let's jump into what we're going to cover this week. All right, our learning objectives this week are to evaluate the importance of studying incarcerated populations who will be reentering society, to compare and contrast the challenges of studying incarcerated and reentrant populations, discuss the significance of interviewers building trust and rapport with their offenders, with their families and institutional staff when they're conducting this type of research, and then to describe the components of the IRB application for conducting research on incarcerated populations. So this week, we're really going to gain an understanding of why it's so important to study incarcerated populations in addition to studying reentrant populations. So if we want to make success or if we want to make progress in successful reentry efforts, we need to go back to the beginning and understand what's happening while they're incarcerated, because that is certainly impacting how successful they are on supervision when they're coming back into the community. So we're going to look at things like what challenges researchers face when they're studying both of these types of populations, because there are differing challenges. We're going to look at why it's important for researchers to build relationships not only with the participants of the study or the offenders or the incarcerated person, but those that surround that person. So correctional administrators, the family of those individuals, corrections officers who are working right there at the base level with incarcerated individ individuals. These are all questions that are going to be answered through this week's materials. So what are you going to review this week? You will read the conducting in-depth interviews with jailed fathers and their family members. You'll also read interviewing the rabble class, recruitment and retention in studies of prisoner reentry. You'll then review the challenges of conducting research in prison website and the guidelines for conducting meaningful research in prison website. These just give you a little bit more information on what it's like to be a researcher for these populations. And then just take a look over the Del Delaware Valley's IRB proposal form, which will just give you an idea of one of the applications that you would have to submit to the Institutional Review Board if you were going to do research as a faculty or as a student with these types of populations. So the first two are actually out of your Beyond Recidivism text the others are found in this week's module. So there's a couple things for you to do this week. You'll submit your week five quiz question. And as I always suggest, maybe take the week four quiz before you dive into this week's material. You'll then submit a flip video. So what you're gonna do for this, in this week's readings, the conducting in-depth interview, interviews with jailed fathers and their family members, and then the interviewing the rabble class, Research, researchers discuss how and why they conducted interviews with prisoners and reentrants. In doing that, they also discuss obstacles that they had in obtaining permission from the institutions and those that they interviewed. So keeping these challenges in mind, you're just going to record a two minute video, video evaluating the importance of studying these incarcerated populations who specifically will be reentering society. Then I want you just to reply to two of your peers' videos. They don't have to be a video reply, but it can be if that feature's there. Otherwise, just make a little comment about what your classmates say, where you're being you know, complete and thorough and just making a reply to your peer about the content of their video. And then you're going to submit a compare and contrast graphic. So what I really wanna drive home this week is understanding the challenges of conducting research for incarcerated persons versus re-entrants. So after you read all the material and review the websites this week, you're gonna create a compare and contrast graphic that compares and contrasts the challenges of conducting research on those two separate populations. So you can pull in case studies from Homeward and the stories in this week's articles. Use your creative freedom here. You can do whatever you want with this assignment so long as you're giving me, so long as you're comparing and you're contrasting. Feel free to add pictures, clip art. You can use words if you want to demonstrate your understanding. Submit it in any format that you would like, but have fun with this. As much fun as this can be. So for those who are less creative like myself, I put two very basic, simple graphics that you can use up, the Venn diagrams and then another sort of tree diagram that branches out if you're someone who would rather just write the information up. 
but if you're someone who's a little bit more artistic, if you're to use pictures, clip art, whatever you want, you're meaningful for you so that you can demonstrate to me that you understand this week's material. Um, yeah, so that's what you have for this week. There is a rubric, I couldn't think of the word, there's a rubric for this assignment. So read over the rub rubric to see what I'll be grading and scoring you on so you have a good idea of what you need to include in this. And there's detailed instructions under the assignment for, for this. So as always, if you need to contact me, please reach out, email, phone, we can set up a Zoom, and have a fabulous, fabulous week.